Well, hello, good morning, and it's your old mate Dave Spencer from PMP back with you yet again. And welcome to Crick in Northamptonshire to the uh, <coughs> interchange and distribution centres here. And uh, one of our favourite spots. It didn't seem quite so busy as usual, but I'm sure it really is. And uh, as usual, what shall we see? We shall see what we shall see. And at least I don't need one of those wretched face masks on here. I'm not going to be social distancing with anybody until perhaps I go into the uh, cafe at uh, Stobie's up the road and uh, get a takeaway perhaps. Who knows? Anyway, Dave, <coughs> I'll get round the other side of the camera and I'll get cracking. That's what you're here for. See you all in a bit. So anyway, as a compromise, no, not so much a compromise, as virtue, you know, stick it up them for sort of coming out the woodwork and being a nuisance, but she, she decided they could run them in the town on public holidays, but they have to buy a special license to do that. Well, that kind of a... Well, I think I'm catching up the scenes that uh, we lost when uh, Dave lost his concentration. The trouble is, it's so sunny I can't see the screen that I'm uh, shooting through at all. Lovely script there. A bit like old-fashioned sign writing. I'm sure it was done by computer, but... Uh, Nice though. Colourful there, carlings. This one might be a bit, bit on the white side, but very smart. Always like the Irish ones. Always enjoy going over to film over in Belfast. You get lots of lorries there from both north and south. There you go, that was a toot from one coming up from behind us. He knew who we were. There we go, DFDS, eh? Another 16 billion packets on their way to New Zealand. Maritime! I'll never forget them, they've got a miserable, they've got a really miserable git at their depot at Trafford Park. One of these, you can't take pictures here, but I'm outside on the pavement. Don't care where you are. And uh, amazing how they represent their companies. They're wonderful, aren't they? They really uh, put a good front on for the public. Where do they hire all these miserable old gits from? The worst one, recently, is one I've encountered before and he works for the Greater Manchester PTE which trades now as Transport for Manchester that's because London Transport became uh, Transport for London and uh, this, this guy is incredibly hates enthusiasts hates the sight of cameras and uh, I think they've uh, employed satellites to track enthusiasts at a great distance. Nice uh, thumbs up there from McBurney's. And uh, yeah, I think they got all the equipment that they used to have at Barnsley over in Yorkshire. Uh, they used the satellite technology. As soon as you got within about 300 yards of coming anywhere near the perimeter of the bus station, they used to come trussing out like the Keystone Cops. Anyway, one year, I ended up with two mounted lady police persons guarding me. Oh yes, and they were all gathered together, these uh, weirdos from the South Yorkshire Public Transport Executive, 
and uh, they were busting the gut to come out and do something but they were uh, a bit uh, put off by the two police ladies who said well you're doing nothing wrong what's the matter with them I said oh I said I said they don't half employ some strange ones these PTEs she said well you didn't think they'd be into buses a bit <laughs> not at all I hate passengers yeah you can ask anybody who runs a bus company vain of their life passengers oh, if you didn't have passengers on the buses which is probably the way things are going to go at the moment with this corona thing or uh, co-op divi 19 or something um, there won't be any passengers going on them they said oh don't travel on public transport we just spent decades trying to get people back on public transport and now look what they're doing but you see scraggy head old uh, Boris he's uh, not something he has to do although he professes an interest in buses got a toot from behind on the Stobart's driver there who's heading inbound towards the uh, interchange and distribution centres and uh, if he comes back out I'm sure we're going to get another big toot so glorious morning it's a, a Thursday and we're at the back end of May it's a bank holiday Monday we seem to be having a lot of bank holidays every Monday seems to be a bank holiday because not many people seem to go off to work and um, I don't know what anybody's going to do for this one whether the weather will stay fine probably won't in Cheshire I bet it's nice down here in the far south oh you see that far down here you know in Northamptonshire they, they speak French no, they, they all try to sound like the cast of EastEnders My mum was in Battersea when she, uh, well she wasn't in Battersea, she was in Dartford when she had me, but they were living in Battersea. just trying to be careful now that I've pressed the button at the appropriate time and uh, not uh, messed it up as they say in the trade well I don't say messed it up but uh, that's all I'm saying to you let's keep it polite as we always say well we don't always say that really oh hasn't there been some rubbish on this do you know this stuff they call social media well I, I do my blog on my website as many of you know and uh, then I press a button and it goes on to something called Facebook which evidently a lot of people use and you know they like being very mean to other people on Facebook and uh, particularly youngsters who've got any sort of uh, problem puts them at uh, a bit of a dis disadvantage in a dispute and uh, you know I, I think they you know, end up virtually you know, getting depressed and mental health problems Oh, that's a nice rig. Driver wasn't so good, though. I don't, know, I don't think you could figure out what we were doing. You're not a regular, then, are you? Oh, I don't like spinning around, but I saw it coming, so there you go. Not the best camera techniques in the world, we know. Convoys of stovies floating around at the moment. Oh, come on, Van, you get... Oh to lose that one in the uh, in the scrum we get a Kemble instead well there we go that was our first program this morning at Crick and it's your old mate Dave Spencer saying bye for now and uh, we're all going to catch up again shortly I hope it's been great having you all along with us on this program and uh, stay well keep safe god willing we'll all be together again we'll meet again as they say so bye for now but uh, i shall be back bye